What's going on everybody? It's windy, so I'll try to make this as quick as I can. I asked a poll on YouTube, or I put a poll on YouTube, what I should do in terms of two different videos next, and the 24 hours straight came through, so that's what we're doing right now. It is about 12.30, I'll check for sure, because I'm gonna do, once that first line drops, we're gonna do 24 hours straight fishing. This is where I'm set up, right here. I know, you don't know where that is yet. I'll get more into where I am, how I chose this spot as the video goes. But right now, we're gonna pop the first hole. We're gonna put down a live minnow and uh, go from there. Okay, like I said, lure down. I got the new uh, Monster Lodge from Otter behind me. It's a Cabela's exclusive. I, I picked it up because I figured it's gonna be like the ultimate overnight shanty. It's uh, 112 square feet, so I think it's like one of the biggest ones on the market. I did some research, I found some ones that were like 109 square feet, 108 square feet. So I'm going to be testing it out and seeing what it's like. Let's pop her up. When you're alone, it never hurts to pop a screw in, especially if it's windy, because uh, yeah, you don't want it to blow away. Okay, setup went pretty good. Uh, like I said, make sure you peg it down a little bit before you move it, or set it up, sorry. I am gonna move, that's why I said move it, move my truck to the other side, just cause that's the side that I'll be uh, staying on. I kinda set up the home base, the cotton and whatnot, and I'll be fishing off of this area here. So I'm gonna get the truck to the other side so I can take stuff in and out. And uh, yeah, just keep getting things set up. I'm here early enough to set up and be ready for the prime time night bite type of thing. Uh, the center of the day or the mid of the day could be a little bit slower. Uh, I did pick this spot because I scouted it first. I was here a couple days ago with Carter. We fished right here. I'm a little bit off the holes where we were. Um, so I hope I haven't moved too far over. But we had a really good day in the evening. We caught like, I don't know, 30 or 40 walleye total. Excuse me, that wind is right down my throat. We caught like 30 or 40 walleye total. I hope this, uh, if this footage is really crappy, I'll explain more on the other side when I have better audio of the wind. It's windy right now for sure. Feels good to be out here, that's for sure. I'm looking forward to this 24 hours. A hot tip you guys, these little clips here to put uh, your pegs in, they work so much better with the drill. And this thing instead of doing it by hand like it's a, a game changer game changer let's get this camera inside and get get a move on here out of the jacket into a hoodie this is a new shelter so first things first i gotta get rid of all the tissue here to make sure this all gets in the garbage Wow, the shelter has lots of room. Oh, there's a mark down there. There's a mark down there. This is good, mark right away as soon as I get into the shelter. I'll get some cameras going on the flasher cam and more cameras going eventually. It feels so light in here, like I got window or doors open over here. This is awesome. I don't got my glasses on right now either, so I'm a little blind. Somebody made a suggestion once that I do like a video fishing without my glasses. I would be like, I'm not stupid blind, but I'm, uh, yeah, okay, well that's a good sign that I got marks right here. I'm set up in 18 feet of water, just off the river channel. I got two holes drilled here. I got another hole drilled that I can pop a camera down at some point if I want as well too, so I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Did I mention I'm excited? Yes, I brought a table. Don't judge me. Nobody said anything about roughing it today.
Okay, so I'm got my glasses on so I can't see. I don't even know if that's fogging up yet. It's gonna fog up, so I got the heat going. I decided to bring everything inside, get the heater going pretty good so I can keep the heat inside and I'll get organized here. I'm marking fish like steady. I'll get the flasher cam going here at some point and get that all set up. Everything will be set up for the night bite, but I think I could be pounding fish right now if I started to fish a little bit more aggressively here. So I'm just gonna get a little bit organized and then keep fishing. I got two live minnows down here still in the meantime. Gotta get some more cameras popping in here. There we go. Oh, my camera's all foggy. Camera's all foggy and I just caught the first fish. <laughs> yes. And that's gonna be supper. First process with the heater going, I'm gonna fog up a bit. I caught a fish as the cameras fog up, a 15 incher. We're gonna let him go, hopefully catch about a 16, 17 incher to eat tonight. But we're on the board while I won. There we go. I figured a little bit of a thing right now. I had my minnows up about, probably about a foot off the bottom. You know what I did last? So this fish and the last fish is I actually just put the minnow right on the bottom. This could be the perfect eater right here. You know what? And it's bleeding really bad too. So it is selective harvest. Look at the blood right now. When you are going to keep fish, there's nothing wrong with like a, a selective harvest, right? Like pick the ones that are, are bleeding bad and are going to die. Pick the ones that are just lip hook. Take the ones that are just lip hooked and throw them back. We'll get him a quick measure here. He is 17 and a half, which is literally the perfect eater for Lake of the Prairies. That's where I am. I can't tell if it's fogging. I don't got a hat on. I don't have glasses on because everything's fogging. That's like the, the max size you can keep. That's a 17 and a half right there. And that is going to be supper tonight because I'm staying out here. Have I? Have I Covered that yet? Like a 24 hour thing? I think I have. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just about to have some orange juice. Am I tangled in that other rod again already? The fish are picking it up and then sliding over there. Ooh, that's a small one. I am tangled up. Little guy. Fish three. I'm not sure when my audio died. I hope it was after I got in the shelter here. So maybe I got some audio out of this camera, but. I noticed my audio pack died, which isn't good, but that's fish, fish three. I'm going to explain more of like the whole setup in here eventually, but I wanna fish till it's after dark and then we'll do more of that, right? Like let's fish right now. I think I earned it. I could do this for days. Finicky bite, hardly bit it, but I think it's smaller. I think it's smaller. Yeah, not bad though. Not bad. Fish number four. Light bite, light, 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 light bite. Light bite. Well, that's probably why. Fish five might be the smallest walleye ever, but it counts. <laughs> Oh, that fish up bit me and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I didn't even know it was on there for a second. I didn't know it was on there for a second. Number six. Oh, that was not a finicky bite. That one chomped it pretty hard. Look at the marks down there right now. Insane, insane. Getting a little bit better, but nothing. Okay, these fish are angry. Oh, this one is grumpy. Fish number six is it, or sorry, seven is a grumpy one. Oh, back down. Oh, look at the marks down there right now. Dropping down. Dropping down into the pit, pit of chaos. Marks everywhere. How do I not catch a fish right away, right? Like, yeah, like, uh, how do you not? Just a chaos down there, chaos. Small guys though, still. Fish number 
yeah, like that was instant. As soon as I put that on the bottom, instant, instant. <laughs> Thank you. Number nine. Yo, crazy, crazy, still all smaller. Hopefully some bigger ones will come through eventually. It's not that bad though, actually. You know what? That's gonna be my second eater. That's actually, uh, he might be too big. We gotta measure him. Okay, let's give this one a quick measure. See if he's too, too big to keep. I don't think, yeah, she should be okay. Quiet. No, he's good. He's good, 17 and a half. Got my second, second eater for the day. Should be good now. That's fish 10. Jeez, look at that. Just got back down. I'm gonna get smoked again, like instantly. Crazy, crazy. Oh, I hope it just stays like this all night. This bite is fire. Okay, fish 11. Oh, crazy. This is fun. They're small for the most part, but this is still lots of fun. <laughs> Number 12. Pull up our chase, that little guy. That one thumped it. That one thumped it. Fish 13. Ah, oh, does he count? No. Today they gotta come out, out of the hole. There we go. Finally, I can't lose this one. Fish 13 is the curse. I lost one at the hole. That would have been 13. And then, again, that was totally my fault. Oh, Clayton, fish 13 is cursing me right now. Okay, we gotta get this fish in. This fish, it's me against the world right now. Yes! Yes, fish 13. That one took way too long, you guys. I had I had two fish right to the hole and like four or five missed opportunities. Fish 13 was my nemesis and he got water on the camera that I gotta get off. You don't know how hard you were to catch. Fish 13 took a half hour. Fish 14 took one minute. I'm gonna get my filet board. I'm gonna clean the fish right here. Got my fish clean, just marinating in a little bit of Frank's, but it'll be about an hour or so probably before I even cook this fish. But I didn't show the process of cleaning the fish on video just because I've done it before. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it again in the future, but I didn't do it for this video. Well, I think it's time for a tour of the house. Since the fishing has slowed down a little bit, it is, what time is it here? 6.30, 6.28 got still it's 14 fish nothing crazy marking fish like non-stop just can't get them to eat anything i don't know maybe i'll catch some throughout the night here i'm not sure but i'm gonna cook something up to eat here soon so i'll give you a little tour right we'll go to the living room first this is my this is my living room area here where i do all my activities here i do my fishing and my filming and whatnot and then you come over here and this is the the bedroom here my uh, master suite. And then you come on this side here, here's the kitchen. This is what we're having tonight. Walleye and sidekicks. We're cooking up on uh, the Coleman little uh, propane, whatever, which we'll call it, just the one burner today. I didn't feel like bringing out, I have a Coleman stove I could have brought out too. But I'll show you what I'll do with that. I'll cook the sidekicks first and then keep them on the buddy heater just to keep them warm and then do up the fish. I'm gonna cook right near the door so I can crack it a bit and hopefully let out all the smoke type of thing as I'm cooking the fish. Like I said earlier, this is the Otter Monster Lodge. And this is like ideal. I think if it was really cold, you probably want two heaters, but right now I have it on low. And like, I'm, I'm warm to the point where I need to even get rid of this hoodie, get rid of the pants. Maybe put out some uh, more tile here, which I probably will do eventually just to keep the floor nice and dry when I settle in for the night. Get nice and comfy. We're here for the long haul. Boys and girls, how's that lighting? Sharp, I know. We're here for the long haul. That was a tour of my house. Sidekicks, we need two cups, 500 milliliters of water. We're gonna bring that to a boil. 
in go the ingredients. Just stir those puppies in there and then bring back to a boil, I believe. Looking good. Those are still boiling. This is where you can do both, both meals at once. If you put this on the buddy heater, nice and carefully, and that'll continue to boil and simmer, which would be nice. I don't have any butter. I'm gonna put just a touch of oil in there, not much to make up for the lack of butter. And now we are going to cook our fish. Pans on there, I'm gonna put some oil in now. We're gonna put quite a bit because I don't want it to get too smoky in here. If I put more, it'll cover the fish more. It won't get so smoky in here. Okay, we're going with basic. I got my fish I talked about, marinating the Franks. We're gonna go with just original frisk fish crisp. We're putting it in there. I see a lot of guys use like eggs all the time. When you use like a Franks and have a little bit of like a, a dampness to your fish, you don't need an egg to make the batter stick. This will stick just perfect. This is a very basic one today because I am roughing it. Oil should be hot enough. Let's put the fish in. That's a big piece of fish. It's a little, could be a little bit hotter, but she'll get there. She'll get there quick and pretty good. Let's do a little flip here. I forgot my tongs. Come on. Oh yes. Crispy, right? Yep, that's gonna be good. Got my wonderful looking fish and my noodles. I have a bottle of water. I'm gonna pop a chair, watch a little bit of a movie. I have uh, downloaded on Netflix because I have no service right now. And uh, enjoy this and maybe some fish will come by. Mm. Oh, well, I figured out what I'm marking, obviously. It's tiny walleyes. I'm just enjoying my supper right now. It's 719. This fish completely inhaled this jig completely down. So I think a lot of my marks are tiny walleyes like this. Maybe that's why I'm not catching very many. Maybe they're all smaller fish, so I just need some good ones to come through. But that's fish uh, 15 at 7-Eleven. Small update, 841. Still marking fish, not catching anything. You can maybe hear the generator in the background. I've got that so I can charge some camera batteries, for, camera batteries throughout the night. I've now laid down uh, some mats here just to keep everything a little bit drier here because I'm in... Now I'm in uh, just regular pants and uh, running shoes type of thing. Nice and comfortable. Uh, yeah, what else do I got to talk about right now? Nice uh, comfy chair. I've got some movies downloaded on Netflix I'm going to watch. I have no service here. I do have an in reach, which if you guys ever watch Jay's videos, Jay Siemens, he talked about this. This right here, I can still text my wonderful girlfriend. Let her know that I'm okay, and if I ever have any problems, there's an SOS button there I can hit, but I still have contact with the outside world, so if something did happen to me right now, I broke a leg or got hurt, I could still get help, even though I have no service where I am right now. I'm powering my shack all basically with the code of lithium. So look at this thing. This thing's a brute. Look at this. 12 volt, 12 volt, 54 amp. That's running just my lights right now, but I know it'll run my lights all night. I got a lithium power box here. I got another lithium power box down there. And those are basically just so I can keep all of the cameras running nonstop, right? I've only got the one buddy heater here. If it was colder, you probably want two. It's only about minus 12, minus 14 type of thing right now. So it's not even that bad. It's super cozy. I haven't got my sleeping bag out yet. I got my cot here. I'm comfortable. Like I'm very, very comfortable. I'm excited I'm gonna be like ready here for the morning bite. Hopefully I still catch some fish throughout the, the night here. It's not over. It's not over yet. It's 12.40. Staying up a little bit later than I wanted to. Obviously I haven't uh, put any more fish on camera. It's because I haven't caught any more, no sniffs. I had one decent mark coming in about 11 o'clock, but no dice and that was about it. 
I'm about to dim the lights right away here. Look at that. Make it all romantic like in here. Nice and dim. And uh, I'm going to hit the hay for a little bit. I'm going to keep the rods in though with some bells just in case I get some bites. But look at this. Ooh, a little bit closer than I want it to be. I'll back up here a bit. The cot, just a cot from Cabela's. Sleeping bag is like a minus 40 bag. It's awesome. Cabela's again too. Lots of stuff from Cabela's, which is uh, good. That chair is not Cabela's, but it was very comfy. Yeah, that's my bed for the night. I'm, I'm enjoying this so far, for sure. We're gonna do more of this in the future of camping out here. The tent makes it so nice. And I just checked on uh, my InReach app, which I explained earlier. It has a, a weather app too. And it's only minus 10. Generators going, powering up some batteries. Yeah, see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Well, for me anyway, I don't know what you guys. I hope you guys paused the video, went to bed, and woke up the next morning and watched the rest of this, right? Like, it's good morning for me. I'll tell you what, sleeping right here, being able to get up and just continue your day fishing is pretty amazing. I don't have to get dressed right now. Like, oh yeah, I got, I got pants on. Don't, uh, look at any ideas, girls, you know, I'm taken, but, uh, yeah, this feels pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about firing up some porridge type of thing, maybe, but I have some awesome protein balls still left too from my amazing girlfriend. Yeah, this must be pretty boring. I'll just put on some funky music here to make things a little bit more interesting than listening to my voice talk but it's just a little uh after 6 a.m never heard the bells go off at all just check my minnows everything's still there so yeah i'm just continue fishing hopefully there's a morning bite i think i started at 1 25 i believe the time was so we're going to continue till then and complete our 24 hours on the ice and yeah life's good Life is good. Oh, something's on the dead minnow, or on the live minnow, I should say. Yes! Woo! First fish of the morning! First fish of the morning, and it is 8.52. It took a little while. But it's on the dead, I should say dead stick, but it's actually a live minnow. But it's technically the dead stick. Hopefully it's a sign of some things to come because I've been marking fish, just not catching. So hopefully the bite turns on a little bit this morning net for me. Ooh, that fish hammered me. Finally, a little bit more of an aggressive bite. Ooh, not a bad one, not a bad one, not a bad one. Shh. Fish 17 was a little bit more aggressive, but they're still small. They're still small. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. I always say, there we go. That is small. Went to a, back to a dinner bell spoon. I was on the buckshot. Dinner bell's got a little slower fall rate. I just realized how small this fish actually is. Fish 18 is tiny. I went back to a dinner bell spoon, something with just a little slower, slower fall rate. I was using a buckshot uh, spoon, which was more, more dense. This thing, when I pump it up, it just hovers down a little bit slower. Maybe can entice them to bite. Has not been hot and heavy. 9.22. <clears throat> I didn't talk about like, any of the rods I'm using at all or gear. So maybe I'll cover a little bit of that. I'm using all frostbite rods, mostly the True Grit series. Um, I was using with the smaller jig, I was using the Smoke, uh, not Smoke Show, the 
uh, yeah, the, the smoke show, which is a 37 medium light, which is nicer with the smaller, smaller baits. Uh, the true grits, definitely my go-to walleye rod, but that smoke show has been very, very good as well. The other rods that I have here, I haven't really used them at all. I just brought for perch just in case some perch would come by, which is uh, a Royal flush and the dipstick, but I haven't really used those things at all just because I think most of the marks that have been here have been walleye, smaller walleye though, that's for sure. But that's okay. Small walleye have feelings too. Oh, that fish hammered me. The fish hammered me. Just has scratching my head. It's a little bit better. Biggest one in the morning, that's for sure. Does not saying much, does not saying it's huge, but it's the biggest one of the morning. Should have grabbed my transducer when I had the chance there. Not a bad fish at all. Come on, buddy. That's a good one. Oh, what do we got going on here? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's a little bit nicer one right there. Still not giant, but he'd be a little bit too big to keep because he's probably about 18 and a half, 19 inches. We'll let him go. I say too big to keep because I'm on Lake of the Prairies, which does have a slot size. Another mark down there. Let's get back down. This feels so weird fishing in like sweatpants and runners. And I don't have, I don't have socks on. I don't even have socks on right now. This is amazing. Oh. Ooh, what do we got here? That's a little bit better. This is a little bit better fish. This is definitely a little bit better fish. Oh. Whoa, whoa, this is a walleye, it's a pretty good one. I'm thinking it's a pike. Yeah, it's gotta be a pike, right? Or a big walleye. It's doing a little bit of everything, like, it doesn't have the head shakes like a walleye. It's fighting more like a pike, I'd say. Bet you it's a pike. Bet you it's a pike. Come on, just be a giant walleye. Be a giant walleye. No, I just saw it. It just snapped me off. It was a pike. Oh, but you know what? I still might get it on this rod because it's tangled. <laughs> so I'm going to be careful with this. It's tangled up in this rod. Maybe I'll get my dinner bell back. I'm going to be just really careful with it. Watch me lose both lures. This is not going to be something funny. It's a, not a bad pike. Not a bad pike. This is funny. I literally just broke this fish off on my other, my other rod. And I might get it back. <laughs> this is funny. Not a bad pike at all. Not a bad pike. I think he might have actually bit both. Both, uh, I thought I snagged him, but you know what? I think he bit both. <laughs> I think he bit both, uh, baits. To be honest with you, this jig looks to be right in the corner of his mouth. No, maybe not. Come on, come back here so I get my dinner bell back. <laughs> okay, how funny is that? Pike bites me off on my dinner bell, but my other, <laughs> my other lure got snagged in him here in the side. So guess what? I'm gonna get my dinner bell back, buddy. Oh, it's way down there. <laughs> well, that was awesome. No wonder it broke off because it's at the back of his throat. Easy, easy. Look at that. Just got my dinner bell back. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, for getting snagged in my other uh, line because I got my lure back. Oh, like I said, I was hoping maybe big walleye, but I, I, I knew it was a pike. You could just tell. 
You could just tell. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Got my lure back. It's a win-win. Is that where I'm supposed to put in the thumbnail now? Or in the title of the video? Rare catch. Unbelievable. Can't believe that happened. Something is all over that dead stick, man. Oh, that's for sure. There we go. Dead stick is holy cow. <laughs> Look at the size of this perch. Oh, wow, that is a big perch. Easy, easy. He swallowed that whole minnow. Look at this jumbo, jumbo perch right there. Holy, that's a good one. That's everything to 12 plus. No, exact, oh, not quite. Just under 12, just under 12 inches, but crazy fat. That is a beautiful, beautiful perch. Okay, back down you go. Oh, well, that was ex <laughs> something else. That was exciting. There we go. I, this feels this feels pretty perchy, to be honest. It's tiny, whatever it is. It's very tiny. No, just a little walleye. That's right there is the biggest reason why I'm not catching a lot of these fish is they're just so tiny. I haven't marked anything substantial for, substantial for size besides that pike. That's fish 22. Got him on the livey, live minnow. Got him on the live minnow. Not bad fish at all. Fish 23. Voila! Fish, 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 fish. There we go. Just starting to pack up some things in the shelter. Looked over and oh no, don't wreck my place. It's a slimy, it's a slimy jackfish. Slimy little pike, little guy. Little, little guy. <laughs> eat the live minnow couldn't resist the live minnow like i said packing up some things just getting organized it's 11 30 so i got about two more hours left of the 24 hour showdown well starting to wrap up the day not much left thought i'd give you guys a quick little shot here last night i talked about the generator running i got it on this side of the truck right here just so it wasn't too loud and basically that's just going to Give me power. All it was yesterday was to charge my can and my main camera, its batteries, the Dakota batteries or the Dakota shuttles and the big Dakota battery didn't need charging at all. It kept everything running for me. So just starting to wrap things up, put things away. So that the lines in, got, got about a half hour left, something like that. And, and then we're gonna pack her up on this gloomy Christmas Eve day. Yes, but who knows? Still could catch one more yet. The day's not over. The day's not over. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I lied. There was no more fish. That's gonna wrap up this video. I, I never really gave anything like, like this is things to do or whatever, or secrets. I just, I just went camping on the ice for 24 hours. One tip though, when you get home, make sure you dry everything out. Cause like even the cot right now, got some dampness to it right so i'm not even putting anything away right now am i fogging up no i'm not bad so i'm not even putting anything away right now i'm basically just kind of have it all in the truck box and i can put it in a warm garage when i get back and try everything out so if you guys want to see more of these videos in the future let me know in the comments below it was rather enjoyable for me but i appreciate everybody watching thanks for watching guys and don't forget get outside